Hi, in this video, I would like to show how to configure Bronk Horst Mass Flow Controller with Siemens uh, TI Portal and Siemens PLC using the Profibus interface. Here is a quick overview of the uh, total mass flow system. Usually, a uh, MFC or mass flow controller has a solenoid before it and a solenoid after it. Here, the gas comes in and we control the uh, supply of the gas with this pre-MFC and then we have a post-MFC and here the gas goes to the process. We need to check the process, process uh, pressure before the pre-MFC and the pressure again after the post-MFC. So let's have a look, a uh, more detailed look on this Broncos MFC specifications. We have the key properties of this is that this MFC have different field bus interfaces that we can use to communicate with our controller or usually the PLC. We can use CAN Open, Ether CAD, Profibus VP, and Profinet. So in this uh, video, I'm going to share Profibus DP because Profinet is pretty new from Bronkhorst and we use Profibus DP when we ordered this device. So the mass flow can be from 0 0.8 liter to 250 liters per minute. The temperature range is minus 10 to 70 degrees centigrade. And the what else is there? Mm. Oh yeah, the I, it's IP40 rated. And of course, there's this what I mentioned before. We can use different uh, communication protocols to communicate with this MFC. And yeah, that's it. So here, the Siemens TF portal is open in virtual machine, and I am in the network view, so we can add devices. So let's first select our PLC, make the process quick. I have already selected a model of the PLC, which is one of the uh, PLCs from ET200 SP series. Let's try to find it from the catalog. So we have it here, we select this PLC and then to use the MFC we need to configure the GST file and we can have a look in this tutorial from Bronkhorst and okay let's give a quick overview of the Bronkhorst manuals. There's, we should need to know that that one of the most important manuals to operate Bronkhorst is this document 9.17.023 and these are the field bus specific and here we are I am the open in my window is this document 9.17.025 this is to understand how the Bronkhorst MFC works and this is to configure it with Profibus for example if we want to configure it with Profinet we need to find this document from Bronco's site and download it and follow the instructions. This is a quick overview or a flowchart of how to configure this device. And here we can see. So it's mentioned how to config, uh, bring in the GST file general station description to work with it. I'll minimize this. Let's have a look. So we have options, manage general description files because I have already added this, so we, you can see that this is already in my list. If you don't have it, click this one, and go to the billet place where you have it. For example, okay, I have it here, Profibus DP GST. Okay, if I press click, it will import the file. I'm not doing it because it's already in my, imported to my TI portal. Have it, and our PLC, we have already bought it to our hardware environment, and then we need to bring the MFC. So let's go find it where it is. You can go to other field devices, Profibus DP, General, Bronkhorst, and then another node, Bronkhorst meter controller. I will bring it here. Let's put it here. Now, as we can see, we don't have Profibus interface in this PLC. We need to have a Profibus card to connect this. PLC with the Broncos and we need to be aware that the, this one is a slave so we need to have a Profibus card which would be the master. Let's select this and we need to go to device view and then we need to find this device. 
or actually we can find it from the node tree so let's go to communication modules profibus device and we have it here okay we bring it here and it's and select this one profibus to connect with the Broncos so as you can see it shows we are connected to the uh, Broncos MFC uh, profibus interface now we can go back here actually here and device view and go to properties profibus address it's showing us the profibus address for this example I would like to put the address as 4 and general DP parameters there are different types of profibus uh, and here we are using dpv0 device specific parameters this is very important and please have a look into the next screenshot where i have uh, showed the key parameters which is usually commonly set for this mfc to work and they are highlighted in yellow color all right so let's minimize it and our MFC is set we go to network view <laughs> all right so now our PLC is connected to the MFC but we have still a lot of work left to be done we have from the Broncos manual we have if we uh, if you go through this you can find out that after going through this several lots of pages that these are the key input parameters we need from the MFC and these are the key output parameters we need to uh, send signal to the MFC to control it so these signals will be sent from our PLC to the MFC and these signals we will read from the MFC to our PLC and while we configure the names you can see there is some suffix before it like IW IB ID what does it mean IB means byte which is one byte IW word two bytes or 16 bits ID means real which is four byte or 32 bits same goes for the outputs now we will configure this we go to device view okay we need to select a device we go to device view and you will see a lot of parameters now in the hardware catalog we don't need all of these one there is a lot of parameters if you bring all of these one it will be pretty hard for us to work all parameters because we basically need like seven or eight key input parameters and four to five key output parameters all right so let's have a look from our list what the first one iw set point integer we need to bring this input parameter set point integer yeah let's see set point integer read so let's bring it here and remember that for our mfc the profibus address was we changed this to four so now when we have the set point integer let's start the address from 400 as you can see it goes the address goes from 400 to 401 that is one byte or eight bits similarly we can bring in all the other input parameters what is the next one control mode read let's see where we find the control mode read okay we bring it here and we need to do the same so the next free address is 402 all right <coughs> so this is the control mode and similarly the next one is capacity unit ch4 let's see capacity unit ch4 All right, the next free address is 403. This is actually the word, this is the byte, and this is the real value. As you can see, this is two bit, this is one bit, and this is three bit. Sorry, uh, sorry, this is one byte, this is two byte, and this is four bytes. All right, so similarly, you need to bring all these parameters uh, after we have imported all these ones we need to import all the output parameters also to this device list 
all right so all the necessary parameters are imported now as we can compare from our left side the notepad i have used uh this is uh, one thing you might notice this is used in ch4 so imagine we are now trying to control the mass flow of a line where we have hydrocarbon ch4 gas so for example this is the tags we will now create so just if we compare these ones before the ch4 all these uh uh, what about I can say a character strings so you can see these ones and these ones are similar so we have all these one in the I address and we have all these ones in the Q address so these ones we have here from here till here and the same goes from these ones we have from here till here all right now we have imported the necessary parameters we can now go and create a tag table plc tags add new tag table let's uh, rename it so nfc mm, i need to change my keyboard okay nfc io Okay, we will open this one. See from here that we have addresses here. For example, the, if this will be, this is, uh, we have two bytes here. So basically this is, you can see two bytes means a word, so IW, okay. So we need to address it as I percentage IW400. percentage i w four zero zero see it from here copy and okay so we can do the same for the next one we have here the next variable is control mode input four zero two so let's have a look what is the type so this is a uh, one byte so which will be if this is one byte that is ib okay so ib402 percentage ib402 we need to rename this copy iw control mode ch4 in the similar way we need to bring all of these ones into our tag table here so once uh, all the tags are imported then we can have a basic test of the mfc controller with using the most basic parameters so remember in this tutorial I'm showing you the most basic parameters there are more parameters to control the Broncos mass flow controller using like slope and there is also a parameter which is not really exposed in the GSD file which you can also come we may play around with the proportional which is the KP value and then there is also a time value which you can set the time how much time we want the MFC to supply the desired amount of volume this is just the basic settings so you can see that uh, we have a case state machine here we have a state named as state fb whatever and in this first state there will be uh, we need to make a button in the hmi when we press the button what happens that we are controlling three parameters see this we call control mode and then the second one is counter mode and then the third one is reset so what first uh, this is uh, actually this is like a state when we have a uh, we have run the mfc previously so we come back here and then we would like to uh, reset the whole thing so three when we put the control mode as it is written here three to stop and zero to start and the counter mode zero to reset two to count up we have set it to zero and the reset if there are the mfc run before in the previous cycle it will reset everything we press the button and then it goes to 
after a little bit of delay two seconds it goes to the next state and here the mass flow happens we can see this important parameter called set point and the set point is between 0 to 32,000 so if 0 means the valve is all totally closed and 32,000 means the valve is totally open so maximum flow rate whatever pressure it comes in into the input side of the MFC it will just open it totally which is not recommended uh, usually better to keep the opening maximum to 35 to 40 percent so what okay so we get a value from the HMI like how much we want to open the valve the inside valve of the MFC then we have a counter limit which is basically the gas volume we give the counter a gas volume and then we we uh, we the reset we put the value to zero and then the control mode as we can see zero to start we put the control mode value zero to start the mfc and then we need to count upwards so we have a counter limit and it will count up to that limit to to tell the mfc that now count up to the limit we need to put the counter mode value as two okay these are all outputs which is the plc sends these signals to the mfc and then we go to the second state and then what happens in the second state we read the inputs from the mfc to the plc when the mfc reaches the counter limit if the this is the inputs which is the uh, in uh, from the mfc then what we do is that we stop the mfc which is the control mode value is three three to stop it and then we go to the next state state 40 okay one more thing is if something happens here like there are there is no gas in the line and the mfc cannot reach the target or there is low pressure in the input side or there is the um, the post mfc side the valve is closed something like that so the mfc cannot work uh, normally so it will generate an error and if it generates an error or something else happens like some solenoids closes down during the process we can actually change the state and go to the error state okay or we can just close the mfc this is what this conditional loop does okay if everything happens normally we come back come to state 40 and in state 40 actually what we do is that we reset if the button from the hmi we want to close it now it will still be active until the user because this is in test mode the user press the button so the value which will be showing on the hmi how much volume has been passed through the ffc that value will be reset which is zero to reset and then and reset a counter mode to reset and also there is another to reset all parameters mfc reset okay we have one counter mode zero okay so counter mode goes to zero as we can see let's go quickly we can show you again that the control mode counter limit counter mode two two to count up and so this means two to count up and zero to reset so resetting this it also kind of deactivates the mfc and counter mode zero to reset here all right so this is just a basic uh, explanation and a basic program to test the mfc is working or not